a lot of you due to work constraints you might not be able to travel as much as you want to and even like uh, mobility i do feel is somewhat um limited mainly because um there is a sense of like stable work or working in a very structured or even in um on a on a scheduled basis, which is going to limit your ability to travel, your ability to take vacation, even though it is still the summertime. There is an element of um, being diligent or being staying like hard at work, which is going to be where your focus for this month is, okay? In the past position, I have the fool in the reverse. So a lot of you might have gone back home to visit relatives, might have like uh, revisited old haunts or old places that you used to frequent. And as a result, coming through, uh, there might be a, a need to catch up on your financial situation or at least save up for one major trip rather than taking little trips here and there because time constraints will not let you. But at the same time, mobility somehow is a little bit limited for this month. So let me just get all the other cards laid out and see the overarching picture. Okay, so I do feel uh, work is going to be on the forefront for this month, okay? As for the outcome here, we have the Three of Wands, or excuse me, Three of Pentacles, which indicates um, a work situation in which you are collaborating with somebody. And um, it, this can be in a school setting or in a work setting, but I do feel that it can be both for a lot of you, but mainly in a work situation in which you are practically like learning a new skill or you are developing a program you are developing like a um, or solidifying a work situation finishing up a work project with collaborators so I do feel that you are collaborating with one person who might be like the same age group or who might be in the same position as you and then there's a supervisor looking over your shoulders and making sure you both are on the right path okay so is you with another person working under the directions of a mentor so a few a few of you might be doing that in a uh, work situation or even in an educational capacity so let's go back to the beginning here I do feel that once again um, travel is going to be limited I do feel financially uh, things are a little bit lacking because we do have the two of pentacles here in the reverse position so there is a little bit of a financial dip happening for this month um, once again i do sense a lot of leisure activities that might have happened you know the beginning of the month which is um where your money was invested so this is like you know theater music arts and crafts and you know going out and probably even dancing through the night or even going out and having a lot of uh, having a good time pursuing a lot of leisure activities and um, it might have been financially costly okay so as a result at this point in your life from the 17th until the 31st of August you are going through the pay uh, the checkbook and you're balancing you know your bank accounts just to see how where all that money is going so I do feel money coming through but there it, the money is being drained as quickly as it's going through. So keep a rein on your finances and also on your expenditures for this month, especially, you know, right now, because it can be troublesome in the future. Okay. So just keep a handle on it. And I do feel that Aquarius in general are um, pretty good at um, money management. You're not like overly cautious about, you know, what's coming in, what's going out. But I do feel that once you know, you, you set a budget for yourself, you can stick by it because you don't have an emotional response when it comes to spending um, the way other signs do. So you don't really care for luxury items. You don't really care about, you know, brand names and things like that. So you can definitely live with less. So once you set a budget for yourself and actually like stick to it, you're going to, going to be okay. And I do feel that might be needed for this uh, second half of uh, August, okay? What's crowning you here? We do have the Page of Swords in the reverse position. So um, I do feel as well. Let me see here. Okay, this is going to be in a work situation. In a work situation, um, you are going to be required to collaborate with another person. And, um, you know, I feel Aquarius are team players in general, but I do sense that um, you want to do things the way that you want to do things. There is a... Let me see if there's another sign associated. Yeah, there is a fire sign here. There's a fire sign, there's an earth sign. Okay. 
So you are going to be in a situation where you have to uh, collaborate with other people. One of them is going to be a fire sign. One of them is going to be an earth sign. The earth sign is probably the one in a work situation. The fire sign is probably the one in a um, romantic capacity, okay? So um, we do have an earth sign that is a little bit um, MIA, that's a little bit absent-minded, that's a little bit like um, caught up with their own life at this present moment. So you don't really know where you stand and as a result you, you are depending on their communication in order for you to figure out how you can respond to them, okay? So you're kind of like a little bit uh, destabilized here when it comes to communication. As an air sign, you're naturally very good at it. But in this situation, you don't really know quite where you stand, so it's a little bit problematic in trying to communicate with them. I do feel a lot of information is lacking too with the moon card. Um, usually I associate this with deception, but in this situation I do feel that it is um, a very like illusory type of energy in which um, things are not clearly or um, concisely communicated, okay? So things are a little bit transient. Things are not like out in the open. So nothing is very concrete and it, it makes it really difficult for you to know where to go and to know the next step and to have a game plan for yourself because everything is very like transitory it's um it's a little bit like um things are not concrete and it makes you uncomfortable because of it you want black or white yes or no and things are not really concrete at this present moment i do sense here um the ace of swords is in the advice position which indicates to me that um Communication is not coming in fast enough, mainly because people are grappling with their own issues. A lot of time constraints might be um, delaying the way people communicate. There are a lot of people not operating at their best either, so they're not being um, completely honest with you. For those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, um, take it very, very slow, okay? Because at this stage in your life, like in a romantic setting, and fire signs are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. If you are dealing with a fire sign in a romantic capacity, I do feel you are showing up in the reverse. And the fire sign, the, the card associated with the fire sign, is also in the reverse position, which... um which indicates to me as well there might be travel associated with the fire sign. He or she might be, you know, traveling, meeting up like old people or romantic uh, interests from the past. So as a result, there might be like a stall in communication between the two of you. Or very recently, there might have been a situation where both people are really, really busy with work. And as a result, there isn't like thorough or isn't as frequent of communication between the two of you. So take it very, very slow. You're both showing up in the reverse position. So I do feel that this isn't the right time to rush things. You also have a lot of um, things you need to focus on on the work front. So, you know, leave relationships on the back burner for, for right now, okay? Um, I do have here the Queen of Coins, so I'm sensing here that this is in your hopes and aspirations, and you do want to have the financial abundance. You also want to have, you know, the business sense, the business acumen of a, an earth sign, so you want to have a really good reign or control in your finances, and I do sense that... Um, innately you are going to get your act together I would say or you're going to start to um, find concrete ways for you to seek this financial abundance or at least have a little bit more stability and a little bit more control over your expenditures okay I do feel the money situation is a little bit rocky and you do want to um, you realize it's an issue and a lot of you might be coming up with ways in which you can once again rein in your expenditures at the same time, for those of you who are socially dating, I do sense that um, choices are definitely dwindling for this week, okay? Um, I mentioned that in the monthly reading for August, there were a lot of potential candidates when it comes to the dating front. A lot of you are, you know, socially dating. You're finally um, recover from, you know, you finally, a lot of you have recovered from a very detrimental relationship from the past you're you finally you know got out of that funk 
which affected you for quite some time. I would say like for a lot of you as much as like six, seven months where you just didn't feel like dating, didn't feel like your old self. Now that you're finally out of that funk, you're dating. And uh, the beginning of the month, there were many, many prospects. I believe there was like a fire sign, a younger fire sign for a lot of you or somebody with a new, a new fire sign in your life. Possibly an air sign, uh, an earth sign that has like m issues. And um, I believe there was a, a water sign, a water sign. So that was the August reading. And now I do sense that choices, options are dwindling. Um, not of your own make, well, not of their own making, but of your own making. A lot of you are very like um, decisive when it comes to partnerships. You know what's good for you. You know, like intuitively who is going to go the long haul with you, okay? So I do have here a fire sign that is looking promising for a lot of you. And I did mention that for the monthly reading to the universe is telling you to um, slow down and be patient and all of that. And I do feel the message is coming through once again, that you're able to, you know, let go of things from your past, you're able to rule out people from your past, or you're able to at least narrow down your romantic prospects, your options. And you're going to go ahead, I feel a lot of you with um, either an earth sign or a fire sign. I do feel the fire sign of with um, a bigger majority of you and then the earth sign in a work setting for a lot of you. Um, in a work situation too, I do sense that um, you're going to be collaborating, like I mentioned, with somebody around your, with your same position and you're being guided or you have a mentor and you're working together. And I do feel it is a very, very fruitful union for all three because um, the mentor has something, has a like a bird's eye view perspective that will be very beneficial for you and whoever it is that you're partnering up. At the same time, you and whoever it is that you're partnering up is providing a very different um, perspective for whoever the mentor is. So it is a threesome relationship. It could also be for those in a romantic prospects. I'm not sensing that um, a lot of you are like dating multiple people and not letting your partners know. I don't sense that. Because I do feel choices are dwindling. We have the Seven of Cups reverse, and we also have the Devil reverse. So you're definitely not, you know, playing the field and not letting people know. I feel that you are letting people know, but there is an uh, an element of juggling possibly two people, because we have the Two of Coins, which indicates like a juggling act with two different elements. One of them might be a little bit more receptive towards you, which is the fire signs. For a lot of you who might be juggling two people, there's one that you really like, and then there's another person that really likes you. So it's kind of like a love triangle, but, um, you know, all parties seem to be aware of it. So I, I do feel like it, it, there's no deception here, I would say. So either way, um, I do feel as well that... Um, it is best for you in general just to leave things behind, okay? Things from your past, especially water signs from your past. Let it go and let it um, get itself off the page because I do have the chariot card and the fool in the reverse in the past position. So that's not going to work anymore. Just let it go, all right? For those of you who are planning, um, you know, new romantic um gestures or you know new romantic um planning things with new romantic partners i do feel once again take it slow because you are in the reverse position so you might be um able to jump the gun on this and then you know end up with the person that you don't really want okay so i feel like there's an element of you're juggling between an earth sign and a um a water <clears throat> excuse me a fire sign and then there's a person from your past, which is a water sign with the chariot and the fool. And you, there's still some kind of a, an energy that's holding you hostage with the past situation. And you're trying to balance your finances at the same time. So there's just a lot going on in your life right now. So don't create unnecessary like drama for yourself. There's no need to get, you know, into one relationship on the heels of one ending. There's just no need for it. And if anything, 
if you want long-term stability, you're going to have to take a break in between relationship partners. And I've heard before that, you know, generally the rule of thumb is for every year or for every like six months or something that you've been in a relationship, it's best to like take, um, for every six months, take like a month in between relationships. Okay, maybe more, depending on the impact of that relationship partner in that relationship. So take adequate time in between partners before you date so that uh, you're not confused, okay? Because um, energies stick with us. Other people's energies can be felt within us and feelings and emotions and just, you know, our rational thinking processes tends to get jumbled together when we have too many people in our midst. It's good to have options, but at the same time, don't rush things, okay? Once again, you are showing up here reverse the fire sign is showing up reverse. The earth sign is in the upright position. I do feel a lot of you might be leaning towards the earth sign, even though the earth sign might have their own demons that they're dealing with, okay? Because the earth sign, once again, is connected to the devil. So there is some um, innate changes going on in this earth sign's life. And they're going to be, you know, okay to date down the line. But for right now, you're still dabbling with a fire sign. So keep things into perspective and just take it very, very slow. Um, you don't have to date if you don't want to. If you're not entirely feeling this person, just let them know. Okay, there's no harm in that. But um, Aquarius, take it very, very slow and... Um, Take a breather for yourself and don't jump into relationships, you know, in succession, like one after the other. I think I, I got the same message for Pisces too. Take a break. Just take a breather and figure out your financial situation first before you um, incorporate other people into your life, okay? So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the month. 